people it's me Anya welcome back to my channel so for today's video I wanted to do a video talking about my favorite books with disabled main characters because as a person who is disabled I think it's really really important to talk about this and it's disability pride month so that's really really wonderful and I'm so so excited because this is a month for me yay so the first book on this list is called song for a whale written by Lynn Kelly this follows Eilis who's deaf and she goes on a journey to find this whale. She found this whale and his song cannot be heard by his species. So Eilis goes on a journey to make sure that he is heard. And as a person who's not normally heard by the people in her community, because since she's deaf, a lot of people think that she's really stupid and not smart, which is so, so, so rude and ableist. And like, that's just something that disabled people deal with daily which is so so annoying so annoying anyway this book was so so good and Eilis is such a strong resilient determined character and I love her so so much and the story was absolutely like so holistic and wonderful and it's definitely something that I can relate to even though I'm not deaf and I'm a privileged healing person I can definitely relate to the elements of people assuming that she's not so smart She's not that small just because of her disability. I've, de I've definitely received that. And I think that the story is an absolutely, an absolutely realistic um, portrayal of that. The next book on this list is called A Quiet Kind of Thunder written by Sailor Bonald. This is a romantic YA contemporary book that follows two characters, Steffi who's selectively mute and Reese who's deaf. And I really, really like this story because I loved their dynamic and their relationship it was just so, so cute. I don't think I've ever really read a story about a selectively moot character prior to this story. And it was so, it was so, so good. And it was so, like, realistic. And the representation worked so, so well. And it never really felt like she was writing two token characters, if you know what I mean. Like, she clearly did her research. And these two characters worked so well together. And I loved them. And this was just such a good, such a good book. I love the relationship and it, it just, I keep saying that it worked so well, but it really, really did and I just really, really liked it and I don't know what else to add other than the fact that you should definitely read this book. It's so underrated, like I don't really hear a lot about it, so it's just so, so good. The next book on this list is called Fish in a Tree, written by Linda Hunt. This follows Allie, who's dyslexic and because of that, she doesn't think that she's very smart. I think that I really liked this book. Because A, I love like learning disability less. B, I think that it's really, really important to write a story for kids who go through the same internalized insecurity where you think that you're not very really smart due to your disability. Because people around you are labeling you as like stupid or dumb or slow or whatever because they haven't, they're ignorant to you and they haven't like taken the time to understand why you all the way that you are and I think that it is so 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 important to remind these children and these young people it's not just children it's teenagers and adults and really anybody that you all smart and that you all intelligent and that you all loved and it, even if people like other people want to tell you otherwise that is their problem and it is certainly not yours and I think that Ali's character arc is so relatable to anybody who has dyslexia or any other sort of learning disability, or anybody just in general who goes through this. And I loved Allie's like, character arc, like I said, about 5,000 times already. And I loved her friendship with all of the other characters. And the story was so realistic and so relatable. And I just really, really liked it so, so much. And I think that it's a really important, necessary story. So that's why I would recommend it. The next book on this list is called Out of My Mind, written by Shailen M. Draper. This follows Melody, who has cerebral palsy, like myself, and she cannot walk or talk, and she refuses to be defined by her cerebral palsy, and she's determined to let everybody know that. I really, really like this story because A, it was the first book that I had, I had ever really read with disabled rep, and two, it had cerebral palsy representation, and that's like me. I just love this story so, so much. It's juvenile contemporary, and Melody is such a strong, resilient character, and I just loved reading her perspective. Cerebral palsy is such a large spectrum. And as a person who has cerebral palsy, I think that it's really important 
to like realize that even though that you are disabled your story is not the only story told about it you know so it was just really interesting and really refreshing to read a story about somebody who has the same like medical condition as me but obviously is different from me you know like even though we are similar we are also different i don't know if that makes any sense but basically the story was so 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 like uplifting and so so good i loved melody and i really like felt for her the entire the entire time it was just so such a wonderful wonderful book the last book on this list is a fairly popular book and it is wonderland by lj palacio this follows august pullman who has facial deformities that have prevented him from going to mainstream school up until now so he's entering fifth grade i think fifth grade or sixth grade i don't remember at beetle prep and he's all he wants is to be treated like an ordinary kid but of course with somebody like him his students his not his students his classmates some of his classmates won't allow that to happen and i thought that the story was so so good it's just like the previous stories it's so realistic and it's so so relatable and i feel like so many people can relate to being young at that age and just going through life and the reason why the story is so so popular is like due to the fact that it's so excellent but also like it's really about a community going through this together because there are so many like different multiple perspectives i honestly felt felt like some of the multiple perspectives some of the perspectives were unnecessary like august sister's boyfriend's perspective completely unnecessary but anyway overall this story was excellent five stars it deserves all of its hype and more i haven't seen the film yet i don't know if i will but this story was so so good so relatable so realistic and absolutely so so good so to conclude this video i just wanted to clarify that for this video the criteria that i went with is that i wanted to focus on disabled main characters but not only that but also characters who were born with a disability such as myself and not and not really characters who became disabled later on in life so basically this is my explanation as to why six of clothes is not on this list because yes kaz blackle is a disabled main character but he became disabled later on in his life due to his backstory accident as you all know if you've read the book so anyway if you enjoy this book give it a thumbs up comment down below any books about characters who are disabled and are born with a disability book recommendations that you know of that i maybe missed also a curse of dark and lonely is not in this list either because that's not a book that i would really recommend because it wasn't amazing so anyway subscribe to my channel if you're new and thanks for watching bye